And welcome back to the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. We're almost there. We're almost at the end of the game, which is super exciting. Um, off screen, I had to kill the mini blends because they were going to interrupt my outro and then my intro, and then, then I would have died. So, sorry, couldn't see that fight. It might have actually been at the end of the last video. I don't know where I cut it exactly. Because um, it was so frantic. Okay, so this is a stupid maze. But before the stupid maze, we're gonna come into this room and see if we can't do anything here yet. <laughs> oh, uh, whoops, my bad. This room. You see the torches? How they're four thingamabobbers? I should just call it a candelabra, because that's what it is. Um, see the different numbers of flames? We have to memorize this. Not you, because you're watching the video. I have to memorize it. The shape of the floor, the number of items hanging on the walls, such are the keys to solving the riddles that lie ahead. Do not overlook anything. Fun fact, you can actually skip the puzzle here. The sword hilt of my servants who lurk in the deep in the sword hills of my servants who look deep in the darkness shall be the guy post a point to me. Why does he make it so obvious? Um Okay, so middle right, far left. Far right, middle left. And I already forgot it. <laughs> um, like I say, a lot threw me off. Okay, I know now. I don't need to see the text again. Thanks, King. Uh, yeah, that's why you don't want to have to go back into that room. There should be a fairy in one of these. Or I might be thinking of the room after the maze. This place just runs together in my mind so much. Um, so, watch me not be able to remember something from 5... Okay, about 20 seconds ago. 5 is an under overstatement. So, it was... Um, I know the first two. Wait, did it just show me the order? <laughs> I think it just showed me the order. Which kind of defeats the purpose of the puzzle, to be honest. Um, stupid game. I forgot to resync my controller from last episode. Dang it. Um... Oh, but last! So, this creates an ominous black portal, and the King Red Lion suddenly shows up. <laughs> Much to Link's surprise. Um, I see, so this is the portal through which Ganon was able to seep into the unsuspecting world above. Link, we shall make use of this path that Ganon created for himself. If there's anything from the world above that you believe you need, then climb into the boat and enter the Column of Darkness. Why does he call himself the boat? I know he's the king, but still. Um, so that's basically your portal out. It takes you to the Forsaken Fortress, which is why that was like the Haven of Monsters. So that sign over here said something about deep darkness. So we want to jump down this pit, because that totally makes sense. But it is not a game over screen. It is actually a boss fight. Spin attack, uh, and jump attack, and then... He goes away. So this is Phantom Ganon. Again, we want to go where the hilt is pointing, not where the blade is pointing, where the hilt is pointing. Big difference. That's If he does a circular attack, it's a super quick phase. This is a longer cycle. Sound cues are throwing me off because of my capture device. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, this phase only takes one hit, so it's super easy. I think you have to do this like eight times now, <laughs> total. So, yeah. I'm not gonna cut any of this because I am stubborn. Um, and that, it was, oh, if you're wondering, it was absolutely refusing to spin attack. Uh, the red ones, like Aghanim, you can't actually counter back at him. So, don't bother. Uh... Yeah, I was spinning the control stick in circles and mashing B and it wasn't responding. Like, I'm trying it now, because you can see me rotating. I'm just going to do the hold down method. Because you can just hold down B and release. Uh, but the quick spin is like with the control stick. Uh, I'm not going to do that anymore, because that's obviously not working. Um, I have one more fairy, so I have to get through here with one fairy. Which is a little bit scary. I have the soup, but I want to save it for the final boss. Uh, actually, I should use it now. Because there's no other... I mean, like, where else should I even use it? Um, and he only takes one hit. 
to disappear. So, again, did they call him Phantom Cannon yet? Because that's his name. I don't know if I actually called him my name. Yeah, we're gonna bust it out. Just be on the safe side. So this soup, I've never said this before, but it actually gives you a power boost. Uh, I think you do like double damage. Uh, and your sword is glowing yellow, it's easier to see with the wooden sword than with the master sword, because the master sword is actually already glowing, so it's hard to see. But again, you have two servings, so it's like two potions. So yeah, that's why I've been saving the soup all this time, because it's, it basically is a really good item. <laughs> that was eloquent. Ow. Uh, you want to be at kind of a distance to give you more time, like this is a better starting spot. I was a little cocky there. Um, yeah, these audio keys are really throwing me off. The amount of uh, knockbacks you can do is completely random also, which is... It's annoying to say the least. <laughs> yeah, the right stick is going. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Next time I'll charge the controller for sure. I'll probably be flashing red by then, <laughs> meaning I can't forget to charge it. Um, yeah, it's amazing how long the Pro Controller's battery life is. It's super nice, um, especially because the Game Pass battery life is like 5 hours <laughs> at most. More like 3 hours. Mine is like 3 hours now, because I've used it quite a bit, because I used to draw a lot to like, the Iron Academy stuff. But now the Miiverse has the 30 comic limit and it's basically dead, I haven't been drawing as much. I've been LPing instead. Yay for new hobbies! And this is like a slow fight because he's doing the red ball. Like, so many times. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is like, this is like, uh, uh Helmarok all over again. <laughs> and he teleports. So, and he does it again. So yeah, see what I mean by RNG not being so hot in this game? I don't know if- like Hyrule Warriors is great because there are RNG manipulation techniques for the bosses like- like Manhandla and uh, and uh, the, the Dongo. So uh, I don't know any RNG manipulation in this game. So that stinks. Like basically in uh, Hyrule Warriors, if you stand a certain distance away from um, a boss, it'll generally result in them using a different attack. And you know I messed this up. Oh yeah, and if you take hit a hit, then you lose the super effect. This actually sounds hilarious, the super effect. Oh yeah, Link's Sword Slash I think does send him a little bit forward each time, so also calculate that. Your distance is changing slightly, and it is speeding up, so double whammy. Well, this is an ominous room. This took 10 minutes, or 9 minutes to get through. 8 minutes, what am I saying? I can't count. Um, so we have to do the song and dance just one more time. Um, oh, I thought the button input I thought the input dropped there. <laughs> I'm super worried, actually. Um, uh, there's bars, so we can't actually go through there quite yet. But we got a fancy treasure chest. This is the last power up of the game. So, huzzah! And yes, I did just say huzzah. Deal with it. <laughs> um, the gold. Uh, not golden arrow, light arrow. When you take out your bow, you use ZR to change your arrowheads. The uh, sacred light of these arrows can pierce pure evil itself. So, now for the soup. Uh, actually, no, switch. Switch to R. Um, we want to use this right away. I don't want to go back the way I came and have to restart this maze. Um, because if you do pick the wrong door, you have to restart the cycle. So don't do that. <laughs> Strong advice. Do not do that. We have another Phantom Ganon fight, but this one's kind of a joke. But this is not a good time to, uh, do this. Uh, wow, he's not giving me the right attack here. Uh... Wow, this guy's RNG is just being a complete jerk today. Um, complete jerk. Okay, now here we go. So, light arrow, done. 
Yeah, see why they don't give you light arrows earlier on? <laughs> because it's in an awful maze first. It's like the Lost Woods, kind of. It's not too horrible. Where did I get that heart back? <laughs> I totally forgot. Okay, so if we... This is like swag strats, as I say, but you can just do that. <laughs> um, I know the correct word is swaggery, not actually swag, but everyone just calls it swag strats, so I'll do the same. Like the magic arrow, other magic arrows. I should say special arrows. I like the special other, spe like the other special arrows. This does consume magic, so use them sparingly, especially because we do have a boss fight that requires them coming up. Oh yeah, that's such a great touch that you know stabbing them in the backside makes them like hop away like that. <laughs> and yeah, these mobs are a joke now with the master sword. Um, I think I already pointed that out though because we already had a really quick fight in another area. Yeah, they're just shelling out arrows and magic, which is a hint at the next boss. And yeah, I do have the boomerang equipped uh, on purpose. This is another dark knight. Uh, this one doesn't have a cape, so he's gonna go down easy, peasy, easy, easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. That's how it goes. Done. No, actually, one more. Actually, one more. One more! <laughs> uh, okay, uh... Okay, I'm actually legitimately curious right now. Control sticks are really awkward on the gamepad, by the way. Okay, so yeah, this is the hero's charm, so we can see how much health he has. I'm not gonna use this for the final boss, because I don't think the final boss actually has health. I think it's very cyclical in terms of, like, phases. So I don't think the boss has actual health. And since you have to do a certain cycle thing anyway, it's not really worth it. But yeah, look how fast his health is going down. I'm actually curious. One jump attack and into flames. And one jump attack does like oh almost half. So yeah. Um Yeah, I'm just now showing off the hero's charm. Whoa, control stick sticking. Um I'm not sure if I even Whoa, it is seriously sticking right now. Again, if it looks like Link is walking around trunk, it's the control stick, not me. Um, hope it's just the controller's battery is low and it's not like, you know, it's dying already because it's, it's a new controller. Um, I haven't done anything that intense with it either. It's like the most intense game I've played with is Smash, and even that's not too intense. Like it's closer, so we have to lock on him. So both don't have their armor. And yeah, these guys seem to have like their health go down pretty slowly. Um, but we got the, the light arrow. We should probably do, just do this because we're low on health. Um, I think there was a trick in one of the games where like you do get specific like set item drops if you use light arrows on enemies. I don't remember which game and what item it is. But like, there's a game where it is recommended to use light arrows on certain types of enemies because they do drop good stuff if you do so. I did not mean to pick up that fairy. Well, drat. Um... Well, that was dumb. So we're going in with one fairy and one can of soup. <laughs> uh, that should be enough for this fight, really. It's the final boss I'm worried about. I don't want. I, I, I kind of don't want to go and restock items too, because I just want to do it on this. I, I could. I could literally finish the game next episode. Next episode is the finale. I'm already saying part twenty-five, final episode. So just ignore the cloak figure next to Zelda. <laughs> now we know it's Ganon. I just got a one track mind. What did the king of Hyrule say? That the gods sealed Hyrule away? And they left behind people who would one day awaken Hyrule? 
How ridiculous. So many pathetic creatures scattered across a handful of islands drifting on the sea like fallen leaves on a forgotten pool. What can they possibly hope to achieve? Don't you see? All of you. Your gods destroyed you. I've been waiting for you, boy. For one life you. Yes. For the hero. Do not betray my expectations. So we have a boss fight. Um, I'm actually not sure how this works, honestly. I mean, in terms of like just you know how this how Ganon is this dude. If this is basically like Beast Ganon, but the actual name of this I think is Puppet Ganon, and you should see why in a moment. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, Uh, just a moment. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I was plugging in the controller. Um, for some reason, the one USB port like is super tight, so I had to switch to a different one. Um, now that we have an actual charging controller, we shouldn't have any more communications ish errors. Uh, ow. So we want to cut down his strings, first of all. You don't have to cut all of them, just some. The, the red one is, uh, always holds them up. So once his little tail is on the ground, aim and fight there. And miss. Um, uh, there we go. One hit. <laughs> now we only have to do it two more times. Uh, take that stupid charm off. And his strings reset. So yeah, you just want to aim for the tail. Again, taking out the arms does mean it can't attack with its arms, but uh, it's just fast to go for the tail. This. And uh, the keys, these bat guys, they drop items like arrows and magic, so you want to take them out if you're needing a restock. But since I'm low in hearts, it just, they just gave me hearts, which actually I don't really want. Because I can go for some more magic at this point. Because uh, I'm missing two shots in the first round. That's like, oh yeah, and this is multi round because it is a Zelda fight. Um, spoilers, this is a multi round fight. If you are a boss, you can actually hit it when it's spinning like that. <laughs> uh, and you don't even have to cut it down either. Like, if you're a pro, you don't even have to worry about that. So, I'm not a pro, so slow strats. Um, this isn't that hard, it's the big concern is it can take a while because you can run out of magic pretty easily. Um, yeah, if you can hit it when it's spinning, that's like super, like, cool. Uh, but I'm not that good at this game. Oh, we dropped arrows, I want those. Gimme. Um, not that time. <laughs> Heart, please? Nope. Cut that down, and oh, he's gonna regenerate the strings, isn't he? Yeah. Where is my boomerang? Okay, there it is. Let's throw that. Uh, it doesn't regenerate the strings that are still up, so that still only took one shot just now. Um, and he's giving me a hard time with his tail. Got him. That's phase one down, but yeah, this is multi-phase, which sucks. 
This is actually the easy phase, which is kind of making me worried. To be completely honest. This is actually... I mean, I feel like the other phase is supposed to be easier, but this, in my opinion, is the easiest phase. Um, what you want to do is pan the camera all the way up, and you can see his reflection on the floor. Um, and then he falls. You want to basically line yourself up so you fall right next to his little ball tail. And then do that. Keys are getting really annoying. Um, so, just wait for him to stop spinning, and that's when he falls. Uh, and you don't want him to land on you, is another thing. And he does kill the keys, actually. I don't know if they drop items, if he, if it happens that way, though. I'm just gonna bring these guys to get him out of the way. Um, uh, I was tempted by the magic jar, and then aborted partway through. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that was phase two. Again, I personally think that is the easier of the two phases, but I, it's, I think they intend the puppet one to be easier. This is the hardest because he's like a worm. Um, oh man, I'm low on magic. So hitting a moving target is something that we've seen them not get at. So wish me luck, and then he does that. And then they just drop the little annoying uh, one IDs, not even the keys that are actually pretty easy to kill. These guys can be a pain, so I'm going to try to clear them out um, and hopefully get a heart. No hearts. Great. Thanks game. Um, I missed my opportunity. Uh, I need to actually focus. Okay, that's that's one more hit, but we don't have any magic left. So if they don't drop magic, I could be in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Um, yeah, no magic. We just have to wait this phase out. I was afraid of this, to be honest. Uh, this is an expect unexpected for me. I'm terrible at this fight. I almost always have to wait for another phase of these dudes drop. Uh, and they are just not giving me magic right now. Um, magic please? And this is not exactly the best RNG in the world. And he's like ganging up on me right now. So I, I'm probably gonna die. Cause he's like super going after me right now. Uh, sometimes he leaves you alone. Sometimes he like intentionally rolls you over. Uh, lag for all the enemies dying. Stop giving me hearts, I want magic. Oh man. See why I don't like this fight. <laughs> um, they seem to only give you good items if you actually kill them yourself. Like if Ganon kills them, it doesn't seem to give you anything. If, just one thing of magic, please. Thank you. Um, now he's out of that pattern that would have been easy to snipe him. So when he's basically going in a circle, that's when you want to hit him. <laughs> um, sometimes he'll just go in a circle and it's super easy to hit him then. But he's kind of being stubborn. Uh, and he's actually going directly after me, which is obnoxious. He stopped and I was on the ground so I couldn't actually aim. And I hit the ground. And I'm out of magic again. I'm at one heart, two hearts now, if I can get over there. And he keeps stopping when I can't actually hit him. I wish the game would just give me more magic. No more hearts, please. Um, but yeah, I think it's set to give you hearts first, like priority one. Um, I'm just panicking, that's what's going on right now, if you're wondering. Uh, that's why I'm not playing well, because I'm just solely panicking. Um, again, I've never done a 3 heart run, if you couldn't tell. Okay, so that took way longer than I expected. Um, so yeah. Because normally I would YOLO it a lot more than that, but I was trying 
play it safe <laughs> as much as I could. Surely you're the hero of time, you're born. It's actually something that they born directly dressed in Skyward Sword. Your time has come. Come now, stand before me. You know, that there is an element of reincarnation instead of just descendants. Okay, now I don't want to go into Skyward Sword because I might LP that one day too. Uh, I dread a three heart. You can't do a three heart because you, you start out with six. Um, that's not the point though. Um, the point is... Um, I lost my train of thought, if you can tell. The point is... There really isn't a whole lot to, um... Like, it's, to, for me, it's like 3 heart or nothing. Um... 3 heart or 20 heart. I mean, there's no, no in-between. I mean, like, I couldn't just do a half completionist run where I get, like, some things but miss other stuff. I would have to go for everything. Um... There is an opportunity for hearts up here. If I don't fall to my death, that is. Because, <laughs> yeah, you do take fall damage, and this would kill me from this height, probably. Um, so there are pots. I'm going to equip all of these bottles, just in case, and the hookshot, because um, you need a hookshot. Yeah, I don't know why the camera is just swinging really wildly for me today. <laughs> okay, so we're back at... Air quotes, full health. <laughs> oh man, I've never done a 3 heart run. I keep saying that. But yeah, this is just a little scary, to be honest. Because I have never done this. Um, like... I mean, I, we could game over <laughs> on this boss pretty easily. Uh, oh, it's over there. Oh yeah, and this is the final approach, by the way. This is literally it. So next time will be the finale. Whatever I decide to call it. I think there's a fairy over there. We do want to unblock that because we don't want to have to climb up all the way back here again. And we can take out those jerks hopefully in the process. At least some of them. Okay, I didn't need to throw that extra bomb. That was a waste. And drop magic of course. I was hoping to drop a fairy or something. Um, oh fairy. And I accidentally used it. Goody. Um, Oh well, so I'm gonna equip this and this because it's actually kind of a cool fight, but I will you won't see it till next time. Uh, shimmy over here and then hook shot the target. So next time on The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, we is the big finale where we take on Ganondorf and hopefully save Hyrule. We'll see.